what I'm going to do here is I'm going to blow some holes in this metal and then I'm going to try to close it up. Uh, this is something I haven't found on the internet either, how to repair holes in something when you blow through it. Uh, I'm an amateur weekend welder, so do not use anything like this for structure. It's good for covering up cosmetic defects, but uh, again, I wouldn't use it on anything structural. So, let's get started. This is a lot bigger hole than I usually make when I'm welding, but anyway, just for demonstration purposes. Uh, you can see it's about one millimeter metal. I use 50 amps to blow the hole through here. Yes, it leaves a lot of uh, a lot of voids and a lot of slag in it. You got to knock it out, clean it up, regrind it. It's not beautiful on the inside, but again, it's just for uh, cosmetic purposes. I would never do this for something structural. What I did is I took the rod and I made little dabs around the inside. Little dabs, pull it away, little dab, little dab, little dab, like this. Just kept going around, going around, going around, and finally kind of did a cover on it. Uh, I'll knock the flag off of here. So there it is. Uh, it took about three iterations to get it done. But as you can see, it closes off the hole. I don't know if you can see inside there very well, but it does leave stuff on the inside. It's, uh, yeah, it's not very clear, but anyway, it does, it does leave uh, quite a bit of slag and, and material on the inside, but it does close it off. Again, it's good for uh, cosmetic, and you say, how big a hole can you close up? Well, one day I was playing around, and I had this piece of metal, and you can see this end, and I started welding around on this end just for fun, and uh, yeah, that's the result. So you can close up a pretty big area, whatever that is, one and a half by one and a half. Uh, again, not for structure. I'm going to repeat that again. Not for structural, but for cosmetic purposes, works okay.